I'm nothing. I'll always be nothing. I can't want to be something, but I have in me all the dreams of the world. Windows of my room. The room of one of the world's millions nobody knows. And if they knew me, what would they know? You open onto the mystery of a street continually crossed by people. A street inaccessible to any and every thought. Real, impossibly real, certain, unknowingly certain. With the mystery of things beneath the stones and beings. With death making the walls damp. And the hair of men white. With destiny driving the wagon of everything down the road of nothing. Today, I'm defeated, as if I'd learned the truth. Today, I'm lucid, as if I were about to die, and had no greater kinship with things than to say farewell, this building, and this side of the street becoming a row of train cars, with the whistle for departure blowing in my head and my nerves jolting and bones creaking as we pull out. Today, I'm bewildered, like a man who wondered and discovered and forgot. Today, I'm torn between the loyalty I owe to the outward reality of the tobacco shop across the street and to the inward reality of my feeling that everything's a dream. I failed in everything. Since I had no ambition, perhaps I failed in nothing. I left the education I was given, climbing down from the window at the back of the house. I went to the country with big plans, but all I found was grass and trees. And when there were people, they were just like the others. I step back from the window and sit in a chair. What should I think about? How should I know what I'll be? I, who don't know what I am, be what I think, but I think of being so many things. And there are so many who think of being the same thing that we can't all be it. Genius. At this moment, a hundred thousand brains are dreaming they're geniuses like me. And it may be that history won't even remember one all of their imagined conquests amounting to so much dung. No, I don't believe in me. Insane asylums are full of lunatics with certainties. Am I, who have no certainties, more right or less right? No, not even me. In how many garrets and non-garrets of the world are self-convinced geniuses at this moment dreaming? How many lofty and noble and lucid aspirations. Yes, truly lofty and noble and lucid, and perhaps even attainable, will never see the light of day or find a sympathetic ear.